so dear students welcome back to the class once again after a week and uh, i would like to tell you one thing about the class and that is in the last class we have done with what is democracy and uh, in that we had recovered let me uh, share with you the screen then after you will come to know is the screen visible to you all is the screen visible to you all yes sir yes yes sir no uh, that day we had seen like uh, democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people okay which are the common people especially and uh, they are the, the country is ruled by those elected representatives okay and not it is not like uh, dictatorship or any kind of monarchy there okay it is not like that at all what happens there in saudi arabia okay uh, the people are under the rule of prince or king and they are following their uh, their, their rules okay their their constitution their own made constitution they follow there right that is not a democracy that is a dictatorship or the monarchy we can say monarchy in a democracy all major decisions are made by elected representatives or leaders as we have already seen that how the elected members they are sitting in the parliament and all the major decisions are taken by them this is also is called uh, like an indirect democracy direct democracy is something where the people are totally free to put their own opinions upon the major decisions whatever the government is thinking on that the people will also vote to cast their votes there but in indirect democracy it is whatever we are living in india it is in indirect democracy where the people are only electing their leaders but they are not allowed to sit in the parliament the common people they do not sit in the parliament isn't it do they sit in the parliament no no actually that is why it is called as indirect democracy where people are not directly involved in the decision making process but they are indirectly they are there because within every 5 years if the the ruling party or ruling elected uh, that elected to represent it they are not working according to the will of the people according to the will of the people they definitely would change that leader in the next election in the next election isn't it and that is why every leader who is elected who is being elected by the common people he has some phobia of losing his seat in the next regime if he would not work properly for the uh, people who are living under his constituency did you get it yes sir in that we have also seen the example of uh, pakistan which is a departed uh, country from us okay and we have seen what is the now condition of pakistan right now isn't it there all the rules are under or in the hands of uh, military okay the military power is being imposed there okay only six people are joining the class and that is very yes sir but rashna some while before sir it was eight uh, so sure. okay after that we had seen that uh, in a democracy free and fair elections should be held regularly what happened here the free and uh, fair election and it should be the regular elections that the election should be regular okay where uh, we had seen the example of china where the chinese community communist party is working there okay and uh, there the party is totally uh meet by the communist the members of the communist party and in 1930 we had seen there in mexico what happened there in mexico there the elections are uh, held after every 6 years and they forced them they bribed and threatened them so that's yes. the word yes yes and they elect their president directly they do not have their prime minister they are having their only president who is the head of the country okay and uh, until 2000 every election was won by a party called p 
PRI, that is Institutional Revolutionary Institutional Revolutionary Party. It is called as Institutional Revolutionary Party. Okay. And uh, after this, one, one question should be arised over there. And that question should be like, uh, should we consider the, uh, the elections described above as uh, described above in the sense like in China and Mexico? Okay, uh, these are the examples of people electing their rulers. And the answer is no. Answer no. is no. Why? Because people are not electing their rulers. Directly, the members of the particular party, they are involved into the process of election and they do not involve their people totally. Okay, means that people are to be, uh, means uh, abide by the rules which are prescribed by them. After that, we had seen, Democracy should be based on the principles of one person, one vote, one value. Have we seen this? What is the meaning of this one? Uh, we have also seen the example. Sir, it means sir, like any person, it is sir, they, uh, the, the vote they do, uh, the vote uh, to whomever it is, sir, like uh, it is their choice, sir. Whoever they think it is, it is, uh, we, people should value their, uh, uh, their, vote also it's not like if a poor is voting that means they won't consider their vote and if a rich is voting they won't they will highly consider their vote it's not like that yes very very correct you said okay and this is only the 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 person the person or uh, the people who are involved in the process of election they must have their values in the sense their vote must be or must be considered as one not as an half and all, okay? Like the, what happened there in Fiji. In Fiji, the Indian people are having the right to vote. Still, their votes are considered half. One person, if suppose he is casting his vote there in Fiji, so his vote would not be considered as one. It would be considered as half. Okay? half. Suppose they are giving 50 votes. The physician, physicians uh, are giving 50 votes. And Indian people are giving uh, 100 votes. So they are 50 and Indians 50. Okay. The, the value would be same. Means they would not be counted as 100. They would be counted as 50. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. After that, we had seen rule of law and respect for rights. Yes, it is a very, very important aspect of democracy where the law, rule of law. What is rule of law? Can you tell me, please, uh, what is rule of law? This this word has uh, might have gone under your eyes. They are in standard eight. Uh, in the very nine. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, what? The nine standard. Still, you are in nine, na? No? Yes, sir. <laughs> so I ask you that this word or these three words might have gone under your eyes. They are in 8th standard last year. Yes, sir. Where was it? In the very first chapter of political... The Constitution. Policy. The Constitution, Constitution of India. There it is given, the rule of law. It means no one is above the law. Law is yes, supreme. Sir. Law is supreme. supreme. Okay, means nobody can uh, just overrule the law. Nobody means even the president, even the prime minister, even the minister, whatever he belongs to, which category, nobody. Even the Supreme Court is not allowed to go beyond the rule of law or go above the rule of law. Yes, sir. Law is a law. Yeah, as the Supreme Court is the highest judiciary um, is entity where it may interfere into the judicial reviews. Are you getting my point? Yes, judicial sir. Reviews, yes sir. This is what where the, the the laws are being passed and if suppose those laws are benefiting one community in the society and it is violating the, uh, the, uh, the fundamental right of another community so that in that case the supreme court may intervene in it and it may ask the government to change and they can change it some, uh, yes to make some necessary changes there so that everyone should be benefited of that law 
Understood? So this is something where rule of law yes, is being, uh, it means that nobody is above the law. And this rule of law was imposed by the Britishians. By whom? Britishers. See, Britishians. what do you think about Britishers? Were they bad or good for us? Sir, in some conditions they did the most good for us. But in another thing, if we, in the other way, if you see, see, they have like a, they have ruled in a bad way, sir. See, they wanted to have a rule over us. Understood? They wanted to make us slaves for them for long time. Okay. And they had become habitual of this. But they means uh, whatever we have learned about James Mill, uh, Thomas Colbrook, okay, these yes. were some Orientalists. Thomas uh, means uh, there were Macaulay, okay, and uh, lots of people were there, okay, who studied the knowledge or intelligence of the Indian people and they thought that Indian people needed a lot of cultural, uh, not cultural, but the educational changes. As whatever they were studying, they all were belonging to what? To the uh, those those books, the, the books uh, which we can say like Ramayana, Mahabharata, okay? From there they yeah. had, uh, they were taking all the life incidents and they were actually living the, their lives on those basis only. Means Indian text, in fact, Asian text was not that much good and even it was full of errors. Okay, so they wanted to bring some changes over. So this rule of law is something where they made it uh, possible to impose upon the Indian society where nobody would break the law. After that, after uh, I think uh, when, when this uh, post was... Uh, created here in India uh, since 1773. See, uh, since 1773, uh, we are going by, I know that it is not related to it, but it is really related to it. Where, where the rule of law, this word has come, so I would like to tell you all about it, okay? Uh, please uh, listen to me very carefully, okay? Means, uh, since uh, 1773, yes, what happened here? The post was created of which, which post was created? Who was Warren Hastings? Who was the general governor? First general governor of India. So that general governor post. This was created in the year of 1773. In the same year, here in the same year, uh, Jyotira of Phule. Have you heard this name? Atma Jyotira of Phule? Yes, sir. That yes, person, sir. he established Satya Shodak Samaj. Okay? The society to find the truth. Okay? That was created there. Uh, sorry, established there. Are you getting the point? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, sorry, yes, but I, I took you on the another age of the learning process. Actually, I thought that you must get all this knowledge uh, through this uh, class. Okay, if the name has come over there, so I put all focus upon that. Okay, uh, don't take it uh, very means biased, like uh, what is sir teaching us? Okay, <laughs> means we are studying democracy and sir has taken us into the history, but you must know. I Yes, Actually, what I feel that you must know everything. See, this is my habit that whatever comes under my way, I would like to tell its history that what happened there and how has it come uh, till now, right? So, we must uh, know all those things. Did you get it all? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, in this, under this heading, rules of law and respect for rights, we have taken the example of Zimbabwe, where it uh, attained its it, uh, independence in the year of 1930. Zimbabwe got its, in, uh, sorry, uh, not 1930, but uh, in the year of uh, 
1980 okay it, it got its independence and from them uh, from then what happened the, the country has been ruled by the party uh, that led the freedom struggle that is zanu pf that is its leader his name was zanu pf like uh, <laughs> this one zimbabwe robert mugabe has been ruling since independence okay so he has become the uh, president of that country got it understood uh, actually he was very popular person still he used uh, the the unfair means to uh, become the president in the country like television and radio were controlled by the government and gave only the ruling parties was was in this is all those things were whatever the uh, government was doing all the uh, uh, what we can say the, the the bright side was shown to the people through the uh, television and uh, the radio okay there were independent newspapers but the government hires those journalists who went against it and so on not a democratic government okay democratic government rules within limits set by constitutional law and citizens right it does not happen whatever in happen in zimbabwe that the rules i mean sorry the television were under the control of government the radios were under the uh, control of government the newspapers even those newspapers which were not under the control of the uh, government so they they actually were punished okay and they were harassed they were imposed a lot of rules and regulations upon them there's a lots of things happen against the democracy but whatever we see in the democracy democracy is something where such kind of freedom is given to all like press is given the uh, the the freedom to to write okay suppose something is good for government something is bad for government so whatever is there so newspapers can write over there okay uh, in the newspapers a uh, journalist may write over there in the newspaper television television has right means it has also the journalism uh, rights okay where they may freely work there and they may put the the, the whole sides of the means whole dimension of the government whole dimension of the common people what do they think about the government what does the government doing for them okay lots of aspects are there where the free and fearless press can do okay do you know uh, in uh, 1778 what happened there two uh, acts were imposed in india first act was arms act which act arms act arms which disallowed which disallowed uh, indians uh, to keep arms which disallowed the indians to keep the weapons with them right and, and the second another, was vernacular act vernacular very good vernacular press act which did not allow to the uh, to means the press to write against the government if suppose someone is uh, writing against the government so their properties were confiscated confiscated matlab hindi mein uska matlab hota hai jabt kar lena theek hai apne under mein rakh lena that is confiscated did you get it yes Yes, sir. This is something where happened. What happened there in 1780, and most of the things, whatever is going on in the con, uh, in the world today, something we have learned from the history. You know, isn't it? Everything we have learned from history, what happened uh, in the past, and now what would be there in the future? The present we are spoiling only to uh, only because we are gathering the pro problems from the history. We are uh, uh, putting the problems in the history we see back in the history and we try to implement it in our future and during that process our present is totally exploit no sorry exploiting isn't it so this is something that every government whether it is a democratic government non democratic monarchy or dictatorship whatever i personally think that everyone must think that there is ultimately 
human being is leading the life in the world and there must be humanity isn't it humanity should be there without this nothing nothing is there in the world did you get it so uh, through this uh, rule of law we can get that uh, the, the the democracy should be like the rulers who are elected by the people take all the major decisions and uh, another point that extract is uh, extracted is like uh, elections over a choice and uh, the opportunity also to the people that it may enter uh, intervene into the election intervene in the election means they have only one power that they can change the government in the next session this is only the power that they keep with them okay another the third point is like this uh, the choice and opportunity is available to all the people on the equal basis in the democracy what happens there every citizen in the country is entitled to have the participation into the decision making process are you getting my point am i audible to yes sir please respond now uh, the exercise of such such a democracy uh, leads even the government towards the rules where the government is also entitled to follow those rules and the constitution which is prepared which is made for the people it must have its 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 uh, dignity to be followed or to be respected okay and through that what the constitution has given the rights to the citizens okay those fundamental rights should not be violated they should not be violated are you getting my point okay yes, in this pa. way we have seen that what is govern uh, sorry democracy now is it really necessary to have democracy then the question arises why democracy see every coin has two sides are you agree with it yes sir yes sir one is uh like pros and another is cons right so democratic government is also having some point some arguments against it like democracy leads to instability as leaders keep on changing in a democratic setup this is way jise hum kehte hain ki ye pin pehne ke lote hote hain jidhar khane mila udhar hi ludak jate hain such kind of thinking okay or such kind of scenario yes, that is the that we see in the democratic country or democracy where they are getting uh, money where they are getting more facilities they would go there you might have heard that uh, lots of uh, leaders lots of elected members they keep changing the parties uh, they, they do not uh, keep their party uh, means what we, ideology in their in their minds means this ideology philosophy views same views okay these values are only limited to the papers nowadays they are put only on the papers they are not implemented there in the society at all are you getting my point okay yes sir. people are now uh, trying to hold the money only and they think that money is the only thing that may make it happy or uh, make them happy but ultimately when the person is dying there okay or he dies there so what does he carry with him nothing na we are actually uh, lured with the physical world with the what physical world, where nothing is immortal everything is what hello yes sir we can hear 
nothing is permanent over here but the people are not getting that okay let us understand uh, this is not a philosophy class this is sst class where we have to study why democracy okay so cons are like uh, means why why the uh, people are against the democracy not against but they may have uh, the problems okay they are having some problems like a uh, democratic country in the in the democratic leaders they change their party okay keep changing on their parties uh, while they are getting something good opportunity in other parties so they would change it okay uh another thing is uh, like uh, elections over a choice and fair opportunity to the uh, sorry uh, i was reading right uh, democracy is all about politic uh, political competition and power play leaving no scope for morality yes what whatever i have just told you okay where moral things are not being seen there the decision making process is delayed in democracy because several people have to be consulted in a democratic setup what is the, what is the what does it mean i would take you the before uh, sentence afterwards okay but take this sentence right now it means whatever the decisions are being taken there in a democracy in democracy the the leaders are uh, abide to ask the party leader first the topmost leader first if any changes they want over there okay and suppose they feel they, that they are insulting there okay they are insulted by the party leader top leaders okay so they would change the party immediately okay sometimes even elected people do not know about the best interest of the people thus at times it leads to a bad decisions and it happens with the people who generally come from the uh, criminal background which background criminal background the people who become leaders most of the people who those who are leaders they are having criminal records but at the time of filling the uh, nomination form they are hide or the, sorry they are hid there okay means even the the chronology of the system is totally involved in this process have you watched uh, that uh, movie gabbar is back yeah yes sir what happened there so i don't really remember but like like uh, uh, the total system is system is corrupted yes right so the yes. corruption is been increasing day by day suppose someone has to become the leader and suppose he doesn't know anything about democracy still he wants to become leader because he has to eat money he has to grab the money from the government means whatever the projects are been uh, uh, are been uh, uh, projected there by the government lots of money is been uh, spent upon that but the total money is totally not used at all most of the money is been distributed among the officers among the ministers and uh, such kind of things happen there okay the same uh, thing happened there in uh, in that movie see why i i asked you to watch such kind of movies because there are some models there are some models that what should we learn from them suppose every government servant in our country suppose he becomes honest what will happen first thing the black money whatever is there that would come out because uh, in the banks also with the settings lots of things are been done and that to in the legal way the illegal things are also done in the legal way okay this is something where the people they do not have any morality in that there are several cases of corruption as democracy is based on electoral competition there is electoral competition and they do not have any any interest in the people who are electing them okay and in this way they may go for the bad decision making process 
democracy leads to corruption since it is based on electoral competition just i told you and ordinary people they even don't know what is good for them they should not decide anything actually ordinary people the most common people they do not know even today also if you are going in or visiting any village and you will ask the person any elderly person if you are asking to whom you will he cast his vote so he would take the name of the particular party he would not say that the party is good or bad but he knows the name of the party still uh, till now are you are you there all yes sir yes sir ha na so yes sir that person would not say like uh, this party is good or that party is bad they would, they would miss since his childhood he has been listening to that uh, party on the name of the party only and that is why he is not willing to change his voting process he would say no no main to usi ko dunga kyunki main jab se maine dena chalu kiya hai 18 saal se tab se main usi ko de raha hu such kind of statements you be you would have, uh, listen from them are you getting a point means what what is it uh, depicting there then the literacy rate of our country that is very very low 64 or 65 percent people are only literate in the country still 35 people 35 percent people are not literate at all that generation would take the total new generation would take at least 2050 okay to be totally recovered from the oldest people at least 2050 again 25 years it would take the people yes. are going to lead the life there okay for 25 years at least those who are elderly after independence are you getting my point so this is something yes. all these points whatever we have learned over here whatever we have discussed over here those are against the democracy as the democracy is giving back to the people that is really not necessary for the people but for the leaders the leaders are now holding the money for them democracy it, it, if it suppose it happens there so what will happen the the decision making process would, would delay over there uh, the leaders who are not actually literate they would take the bad decisions for the people and here in in the electoral pro competition what happened the corruption is been increasing day by day are you getting and ultimately it comes to the common person who doesn't know anything about his, about his future what will happen there he does not think once as well while he goes to the uh, voting booth and he cast his vote to the particular party at the time of election he just put his uh, or cast his vote on the basis of the name of the party are you getting a point yes sir according to this argument so this argument democracy does not seem to be an ideal form of government see it is said by the ncrt you know? it is said that ideal form of government is not a democracy it means democracy is not an, an ideal form of government but it is not so lekin ye sach bhi nahi hai why are we living this free and fearless life today only because of the existence of democracy otherwise the rule which which was imposed upon us since 200 years that would have been continued but the rulers would have been changed those who have not been uh, would not have been the britishers but the own people from our, from our country would have been there okay who would have been ruled over us after britishers after 1947 okay so the following uh, arguments prove that democracy is the best form of government now we have seen the cons now we will see the point Yo. the pros or the merits or the the arguments which are in favor of democracy okay understood because i already told you that every coin has two sides one is dark and one is bright 
Okay? Yes, sir. So, a democracy government is a better government because it is a more accountable form of government. The first argument is there. Again, the example of China is given. Let us uh, take example of China and uh, India. Famines. Okay. There was the worst famine in 1958 to 1961. What does it mean by famine? It's a lack of food. Huh? Lack of food. Lack of food. Yes. But uh, that is not lack of food. Uh, you must say it is scarcity. Scarcity hona means kami hona. Bhot jada kam hona. That is scarcity of food. Okay. So, famine is something where consecutively, suppose two or three years, there is a problem in harvesting. In the sense, it may be. Uh, we, uh, because of uh, many reasons like there may be a drought situation continuously for two or three years okay and the harvesting is not done over there harvest season was not done over there and the food grains were not produced and due to this the people they they uh, they faced problems with the availability of food and due to that scarcity of food they die. That is called famine. Okay. While China was hit by uh, hit badly, India did not fear as badly, despite its economic condition. Right? Its economic condition. In the sense, China was affected totally with its uh, agricultural products and all, but India was not affected. Nearly 3 crore people died in the famine there in China. No major famine occurred in India at this time. According to economists, it was perhaps because India is a democratic country. The economics, uh, economists, they say that what happened there uh, since 1958-61, this is only because China was not a democratic country and it happened. Crores of people were die there, but in India it did not happen, as the famine was occurred there only, there also. Okay, but India does did not affect it. Reason for this what? It could be that India responded to the food scarcity in a way that the Chinese government did not. Like democracy in India made the government respond to food scarcity in a way in which the Chinese government did not and it failed. It was because India has a multi-party system and free press. The government may be criticized and even lose the next elections. Okay? Are you getting? One second. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, but I'm back. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got it, sir. Yes, sir. This, this point is very, very important. Huh? Chinese government had not uh, that kind of free press. Now, why, why is it given the or why is it mentioned there about the press? What do you think? Aisha? Sir, could you repeat? Uh, yes, I would repeat. Why the mention of praise is here? We have already seen, beta. Free, if the free praise is existing there in the country, so nothing would be hiding. Sorry. Yes, sir. Everything would be 
sir everything but, is revealed uh, it, it it will reveal everything it will bring every this and that in front of the common people and another i would say the benefit for the common people as they were not the means uh, the victims of the fmi because of the presence of multi party system in india as one party was in the ruling ruling the another another party was in opposition opposition and what is the work of the opposition party to criticize the failures of ruling ruling party, party. isn't it and that is why in a democratic country like india the femi also did not affect the existence of the common people are you getting the point yes sir now this this happened there okay so this is the benefit of having government like democracy okay it is accountable why accountable because the leaders and the the rulers are elected by the common people and every elected member or representative is means liable to give or responsible for the answers on the questions we sir asked by the common people understood yes sir uh, from this uh, scenario we see that the democracy is better than any other form of government in responding to the needs of the people the foremost thing is the needs of the people this is not case with the chinese because china is ruled by the communist party and no one can criticize the government as all the things were uh, are under the control of government today also in this 2022 the chinese government is under the communist party there the chinese government took the femi very casually as means the government was casual because it did didn't have any mean with the common people because the members who were elected in the government they were not elected by the common people and that is why they hadn't any kind of uh, the worry about the common people are you getting the point okay so this is this does not happen in the uh, the government like democratic government okay, okay. another uh, Uh, pros or we can say the merit of the democracy is democracy improve the quality of decision making this is very very important like democracy is based on consultations and discussions people collectively discuss and take decisions the this reduces the possibility of taking any irresponsible decision as whatever the decision is been taken by the government it it, it is revealed there immediately and whatever is happening there in the parliament that also is telecasted live isn't it on the television yes yes so the common people immediately come to know what is happening there and it may raise their voice that that should happen or not happen and that is why this is a trans transparent tra kind of government this is a transparent kind of government where the decision making process is definitely the process is starting or started by the representatives but the common people ultimately it is depending upon them are you getting okay consultation and discussion in the sense yes sir so the bill is to be uh, to become the law it has to pass it has to be passed there uh, through the lok sabha and rajya sabha i told you on that day as well isn't it yes sir yes and another thing in this process as uh, the advantage of taking time over important decisions is that it reduces the chances of taking irresponsible decision means it is discussed it is consulted okay means at a time the, the decisions are not taken at a time they are discussed and there are several decisions in our country which have taken a lot we have been taken a lot of time to be finalized like uh, just take example of uh, article number sorry 360 360 and 370 it is okay and article number 370 which the 
स्टेट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हैड बीन गिवन द स्पेशल स्टेट राइट दिस राइट वॉज गिवन टू दैट स्टेट एंड दैट इज एबोलिश देयर ओके विद एफर्ट्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट द रूलिंग पार्टी ओके एंड दिस दिस प्रोसेस वॉज बीन हेल्ड देयर इन द इन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सिंस लॉट ऑफ टाइम ओके सिंस मेनी इयर्स that can also be said okay have you got the point beta yes sir so in this way we have seen till now rest of the things i'll take you in the next class i think this class has uh, proven most important information to you okay must have given most important information to you and you would have learned a lot of things from here okay i hope so uh thank you very much for joining the class you may leave the class now have a nice time good night bye bye yes sir yes sir thank you so much i have been pausing the recording so of last class uh immediately i am i am i'm just uh, posting it uh, on youtube channel you may see there okay no, sorry you okay. may watch there sorry okay sir bye sir thank you have okay. a nice night bye sir have a good night good night good night sir